Hardy's 2012 annual conference brought together some of the top speakers from across the country, including Sam Richter. This special extended view video provides a snippet of the information that Richter shared about Google. Think you know everything about Google search already? According to Richter, it's time to know more. Google Kindergarten, what is Google? Google's nothing more than a big vacuum cleaner. So imagine Google going around the internet and what it's looking for are websites with words on the page. When Google finds a website with words on the page, it flips on the vacuum cleaner, it sucks up those words, stores those words in a big vacuum cleaner bag or a database, and when you go into Google and type in one, two, or three words, all Google's doing is saying, where do those three words appear most often? Here you go. There's no human being organizing the internet. There's no librarian sitting there saying, this site's better than that one. Now there's mathematical algorithms. Marketing people try to trick Google all the time. But in general, it's just kind of an automated thing. There's no human being. So the key to effective Google searching is math. It's algebra. The first one is plus. I want to make sure that HVAC, the word HVAC, and the word Minnesota, both of those words are somewhere on every search result. I type in a plus sign. Space before and after the plus. Now HVAC could be in the first paragraph, Minnesota could be in the 40th paragraph, but both of those words must appear somewhere on the page every single time. Now technically, technically you don't really need to put in the plus sign. Just so you know, when you type in two or three words in Google, Google's actually putting in the plus sign for you. If you were to unwra unwrap the code, look at the code of Google, you'd see the plus sign. I actually put it in there when I search because it helps me think mathematically. Another one is OR. And the magic trick is OR must be in all uppercase. I'm not really sure. Am I looking for heating or am I looking for cooling? OR must be in all uppercase. If you put it in lowercase, you pull up every search result in the world with the word OR in it, which will give you lots of results. So OR in all uppercase space before and after one or both of those words must appear somewhere on the page. Now, a super powerful one is the minus sign. Any of you search with the minus sign? What the minus sign does is it allows you to filter your results. So let's use Maddie as an example, my daughter. She's in a high school class, her history class. Her teacher says, Maddie, I want you to write a report on the Vikings. The guys from Norway from like 500 years ago with the big boats and the swords. And so she goes, comes home from school, does her homework, fires up Google like most kids do. She types in Vikings, and what does she get? She gets 17 million search results on after today, the soon-to-be Super Bowl champion, Minnesota Viking football team. Way to go, Minnesota. But now she, doesn't, she doesn't want that. So what could she do? She could go in and type in Vikings plus Norway plus swords plus boats. Or she could say, what word don't I care about here? I don't care about the word football. So she's going to do a minus sign, and the magic trick is to attach the minus sign to the words that you want to remove. So minus football. And Google says, okay, here's every website in the world with the word Vikings in it. Oh, you don't want the ones with the word football in it. Okay, we'll take that one out. And you can do this like 30 times. So if I don't want the word Wikipedia, I can go right back up and do minus Wikipedia. If I don't want the word Atlantic, right back up, do minus Atlantic. Start out with a broad search term using the minus sign, drill down. Who knows what that is? It's called a tilde, or a squiggly thing. It's in the upper left corner of your computer. When you use a squiggly thing or a tilde, and you attach it to a word, you're telling Google, I want all synonyms of that word. Again, just like the minus sign, no space after the tilde, no space after the minus sign. You attach the tilde to the word you're interested in. Give me all forms of that particular word. Not really sure, am I looking for contractor, builder, building, construction? Don't care. I type in a tilde, Google fills in the blanks for me. Now this next one's super important. Quotation marks. Anytime you're searching for a proper noun, name of a person, name of a company, or even a phrase like general contractor, you make sure you put it in quotation marks. Otherwise, based on what we just learned, Google will treat it like a plus sign. So if I'm looking for Karen Jane Anderson, if I go into Google, I type in Karen Jane Anderson, Google thinks I mean Karen plus Jane plus Anderson. All three of those words must appear somewhere on the page, but in no particular order. A simple thing like putting it in quotes. I'm telling the search engine, no, I want it to be that exact phrase in that exact order every single time. So I go from a few million to 7,000 results, and every single one, the name I'm interested in. So that was Google Kindergarten.